Fresh 2 News continues. Leave your mark. That's the theme of this year's National Infertility Awareness Week. The World Health Organization estimates infertility impacts one in six people around the globe. That's why many turn to assisted reproductive medical treatments like IVF to start and grow their families. West Jews Christina Watkins met an Orlando couple who spent nearly a decade trying to become parents. There's never a dull moment with one-year-old Mateo. His bright blue eyes and contagious giggle bring so much joy to his parents, Lenny and Amanda Lacamari. Um. <laughs> it was a long journey For to sure. get this blessing. For sure. He's a blessing. Dreams. It's amazing. Yeah. It is. Amanda and Lenny's journey to parenthood goes back nearly a decade after their first three years of marriage and a miscarriage. The Orlando couple knew their best chance at becoming mom and dad would be through in vitro fertilization, but little did they know the challenges ahead. Felt like we were just spending money, like we were so desperate, so we were just like dishing it out, dishing it out, dishing it. and then we went through our three years of savings as newlyweds and then loans and credit cards. So we, yeah, definitely like put ourselves in debt. They spent nearly $70,000 on three rounds of intrauterine insemination and two cycles of IVF. The Lakamari family said doctors couldn't figure out why nothing worked. There was a time where I was just like, you know, just accept it for what it is. And um, I, I gave up, I'm not gonna lie. But Amanda said she kept the faith. She saw a video on social media about a clinic in Barbados. After talking with her husband, they took a trip and met with Dr. Juliet Skinner. There was a lot more complications going on behind the scenes of what we needed to treat to, to get the successful results. Dr. Skinner calls and she's like, it's exactly what I suspected. You have super high natural killer cells. So basically anything that enters my body, it's, I consider foreign and I kill it. It wasn't just about creating embryos. This was about managing the immune side of the fence and, uh, you know, thinking outside the box, to be totally honest. And finally, success. The couple got pregnant in 2022 with the help of an egg donor, Amanda's sister. <laughs> then Mateo was born March 2nd, 2023, giving the family a miracle of a lifetime. I'm so glad we just kept chugging through because it was worth it, still worth it. Yeah. Even when he's being naughty, which he rarely is, it's worth it. <laughs> In Orlando, Christina Watkins, West 2 News. The couple said their trip to Barbados cost them a fraction of what they spent here for IVF. IVF in the U.S. can cost anywhere between fifteen and thirty thousand dollars. And the cost for treatment at the Barbados Facility Center averages less than ten thousand. So it's just so eye-opening when you look at that comparison. And another eye-opening thing we shared in that report, you know, when you talk about one in six people. We all probably know someone going through this and people don't talk about it. And that's why, Cam, you told us you wanted to talk about it today. Yeah, um, one in six, that's actually a fairly high number. Yeah. And I can tell you from firsthand experience, a lot of those folks probably suffer in silence. I'm, I know that firsthand because I'm one of them. Um, mm -hmm. my, I, you may know I just gave birth last it's September and he is our miracle baby after four and a half years of trying. So I'm definitely one of six. And I share this because it's a very isolating journey and it's also very mentally emotionally, physically, and even in that story mentioning how financially draining it is. Yeah. So anyone who is going through it, please know that you are not alone. Um, I'm going to sh not going to go through my entire journey, but I will share more details on my Instagram page. And please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or just want someone to talk to or just anyone to relate and share. And I told you, I opened up to you, we had a similar thing just two years, obviously a lot yeah. shorter. But when you don't know and you haven't talked to anybody about it, it's not something that you pursue all the time. No. And I also want to say congratulations to Amanda. Lenny, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And also thanks for sharing your story because I think having that conversation hopefully oh, will yeah. alleviate the taboo and kind of like the little, make it more open to get rid of that stigma about talking about um, infertility. Thank you. Oh, thank sharing. you so much. Thank yes. you.